What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome fishing video and I know you guys haven't seen me actually personally catching fish in quite some time and I've been really struggling, you know. I've been fish trying to fish and find as many new ponds as I can but the only problem with that is since you're since I've never been to these ponds I don't really know if any of them have fish in them and so sometimes when I go out and I've got two ponds on the list that day but then I don't catch anything you know yeah so and the, and I don't even get a bite sometimes so I'm trying trust me guys I'm trying if you guys follow me on Instagram you'll see that I'm trying to find as much new ponds and that kind of thing as I can so stay tuned hopefully this, this summer these ponds will uh, will heat up and I'll be able to really catch some fish so other than that I'm gonna be going down to uh, to do some finesse fishing today you guys have seen me uh, do a lot of like as they say power fishing you know throwing heavier gear charter baits crankbaits uh, Texas rigs heavier gear I would say um, and today I'm gonna be doing some finesse fishing because I haven't had much success on the charter baits and and jigs and uh, 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 Texas rigs and that kind of thing that I've been throwing on a uh, on my bait caster. So I'm going to scale it down, see if these fish are a little bit more finessey right now. And uh, I've got a uh, a drop. No, I've got a shaky head tied on with a Guggen Baits uh, Slim Shake Worm. And uh, that's, I'm going to be trying it out for the very first time. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch some fish. I'm also taking down some crawls, reach to crawls, and some wacky rig worms, just in case I need to put on a wacky rig, you know. So, other than that, we're going to head down to the pond and see if we can catch some fish. All right, guys. Well, we have arrived at the pond. You guys haven't seen me fish this pond for a, a while now. Um, and I, I hadn't been fishing here in quite some time, but... Starting off with a little shaky head with a uh, Guggen Baits Slim Shake Worm on there. So we're going to try it out, cast around here. It's a beautiful day outside, perfect for some long sleeves and some fishing. And uh, one other thing I do want to say before we kick off this video is uh, it's, it's blowing pretty good. The wind is blowing pretty good today, so I'm sorry if there is some wind, some wind noise. Oh, we got a fish right now. Oh, yes, guys. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that, guys. First fish. This is actually my first fish ever on the Guggenbaits Slim Shake Worm. And even a Guggenbaits Worm in general, that is the first fish ever caught on it. And look at that. Not a big one at all. I mean, the, the fish might be just a long, just, if I had the full worm on here, it'd be just as long. <laughs> that fish absolutely destroyed it. Now, it's actually the funny thing is, is I was actually kind of reeling that fish or reeling my bait in. And uh, little guy, we'll just toss him back down. But I was bringing him right here. He bit like ten feet out, like right there. Um, and uh, I was just kind of like reeling it and popping it a little bit. And that's when that fish hit it. So that's the first fish and first fish possibly even caught at this pond this year so things are looking lively today hey right, guys so i'm going to hit you guys with a little a little on the water review and this is just kind of going off of what i am experiencing right now this is my first first real look at the bait and uh, just kind of going over how i'm fishing this lure right now kind of what it's looking like what it's imitating the whole rod the reel the line the setup and maybe we might just catch another fish in the meantime but um so first of all i'll go over the uh the combo i'm using on the uh on the drag and drop actually you know what i need to show you guys what color drag and drop i am using today so it is this guy right here the guggen baits slim shake worm Alabama crawl. I've been saying dragon drop, haven't I? Well, I meant the the uh, slim shake worm. And uh, the rod, the reel, and the line that I'm using today is the 13 fishing Defy Black, seven foot one inch medium. So it's a perfect all-around spinning rod. I've got 
uh, several videos and review style videos over this rod and this rod and reel combo together. Um, also, if you want to check those out. The reel is a 13 Fishing Source X. This is a great reel. It's 40 bucks. This whole rod and reel combo right here is $100 on the mark. And uh, that's, that's pretty good for a pretty quality uh, uh, spinning rod and reel combo. And the line is, I believe this is 20 pound uh, like Bass Pro Braid, Cabela's Braid, Power Pro Braid, Academy Braid. I don't know. I don't really know the brand, but it's, I believe, 20 pound uh, braid. And so that's the whole rod, the reel, the line uh, that I'm using today. And let me see if I can, I'll reel this in real quick. And uh, the, what I'm throwing the drag and drop on, or there I did again, the Slim Shake Worm, what I'm throwing it on is a, uh, I believe this is a 3 16 ounce uh, spot remover shaky head and this is perfect stays on the bottom and then this the uh, the little worm right here just kind of floats up just like that and uh, that's how you can work it how I'm actually working it and how I've caught and how, how I've caught that one fish and had my bites I had a bite over in here somewhere and then I had another bite out in here somewhere was almost swimming this thing and you cast it out here let me untangle the end here you cast it out and you just kind of you just kind of give it some little light hops you know and then the fish uh it's almost a reaction bite and it looks the bait looks really really good and it's kind of like hopping and it almost looks like a snake um a snake in the water so try that little retrieve out next time you can also use this on a uh, like a ned rig i don't throw it on a ned rig because uh, Ned rigs in the past here there's a lot of trees and rocks on the bottom and the Ned rigs they just get hung up too much for me and uh, and so that's one you can also you know Texas rig it or whatever on a little weightless worm rig but uh, that's pretty much how I'm working it today caught one fish already had several bites and uh, yeah it, it looks the bait looks really really well so or really good too so um, you can also, another good way to rig this bait is a, just a standard wacky rig. You can w rig it, like do a little Nika rig or whatever you want to do right here in the middle. And, uh, and then it'll, it'll look juicy as can be. But uh, on that, I'm going to stop talking to you guys. And we're going to use those tips that I just gave you all and see if we can catch at least one more fish. Holy cow. Oh, we got one, guys. Oh, yes, we got one. There we go. Little guy. Oh, we spit it. He spit it. We had one, though. We did have one. And you guys could see. Wasn't very big at all. But we had another one, probably about the same size as the one beforehand. Absolutely crushed it. Hit the bottom and, like, I can't snap very well. But he hit it pretty good. Alrighty, I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger bigger fish just because the amount of Awesomeness that he ate this bait with but you know The bite doesn't always determine the fish Oh my gosh guys we I caught a fish holy cow. Oh, oh, oh here Oh, the biggest of the day. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Just swimming this little crawl. I just I just put on this uh, a little cut down uh, rage crawl on there. And look at that. I mean, by cut down, I mean there's an inch left of that body. Look at that. And the biggest fish of the day. Look at that right there. All right, guys. So that is the bait right there little fish right there caught on the rage crawl we'll uh, go ahead and put him back off he goes biggest fish of the day as well and i know it's not a very big one but guys i've been fishing a whole lot a lot of different new ponds and i just haven't been either one fishing the right baits or 
if the ponds even have fish in them so that was a great sign good sign to get back on the ponds and uh these are local ponds too like less than a mile away from my house so we're gonna try to catch some more fish Alrighty guys, so I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I know I actually caught three fish today. Um, one of them you all did not see on camera, and uh, I, I, I thought my GoPro was on, but apparently whenever I had set the hook, I looked down and it wasn't recording. So I, I turned it on for like a minute and then turned it right off um, and uh, because I didn't get the hook set on, and it was a, might I say, pretty dink pretty much a dink you know about as dinkish as you can get i mean the sucker was probably six inches you know that's how big it was and ate the rage crawl actually ate the rage crawl so other than that uh, i hope you all enjoyed today's video make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't entered my uh 1500 subscriber giveaway that drawing will be coming this this weekend saturday or sunday you know whatever so um on that thing guys for watching and uh we'll catch you guys on the next episode of lmb nation peace guys